from the cold hands of the clock And you wander once again On the pallet road to Kells While the waves wash loud and lonely On the place at last Man, he wears a suit of blue, he always wears a truncheon and sometimes a pistol too. Excellent. Cause at the back, little Johnny, the hat shot. What is it, Johnny? My daddy is not a policeman. He doesn't wear a suit of blue. He draws the door at 12 o'clock and he's on the pistol too. <laughs> I, I was thinking of a story. Years ago, a couple from near Farron 4. Near Farron 4. You know what that is? One of their 25 years married. And all the woman wanted was to go to Dublin and visit the zoo. Nowadays, to be the Canaries of New York. Anyway, up on the train, booked into the hotel the following day after the zoo. And you'll always know when a couple of 25 years married. He'll be ten yards ahead of him, and he'll be coming like this. <laughs> anyway, up to the zoo, and ten yards ahead of him, went to near the gorilla, gorilla cage, and the big gorilla caught her. Put her in the cage, and she shouted, started shouting, Johnny, what did I do? What did I do? Tell me we're paying your head like you tell me for the last 25 years. <laughs> Money, he had a bit of land, and she had a bit of an accent. Going to market, which was Thursday, he shouted, she shouted out the window, Paddy, bring me home a bra. You went to 60 years ago. They have different names for it now. Bring me home a bra. Off he went to the market. Imagine telling the man to go in and buy underwear for a woman. He preferred to go to hell. Anyway, when he he went to the market time. Oh, Jesus, he said, I must buy the bra from the mists. Looked across, a place called Castle Island, hand in shop. And he went to the door, cap on, looked in, and if there was an elderly lady inside, it wouldn't be too bad. 
und wollten da die Jungen gern. Sie sind gerade die Kinder da auf dem Bauch. Die Bulle klappt da und legt das. Und sie sagt, yes, sir, can I help you? Und ich hatte bitte mich sterben. I, 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 I want to buy a bra for the missus. Oh, certainly, he said. What bust? Oh, Jesus Christ, nothing bust. It just wore out, he said. <laughs>
me. And I have the same thing to tell you tonight. And you know what I love about you? You don't tell anyone. And, and you're as good. Oh, I was sitting on the bus this evening. Oh, it was a beautiful bus with leather seats and everything. And I was looking out and I could see the green fields of Kerry. But we call it the flora and the fauna. You know, I always introduce the tourist. But anyway, listen, I can't stay long because himself, the king, he had been pushed. He had, sorry, push, push, push down. Sorry, I wouldn't use a bad language. But listen here to me, I have to tell you. Do you know, I don't look great. And of course, a lot of people would think that I hadn't a husband. But would you believe it? Didn't I right away to the not managed bureau and I gave all my vital statistics. Now I'm not giving them to me because you don't need them. But lo and behold, didn't I get a lovely fella? Oh God, he was gorgeous. JT was his name. Oh, so so JT, oh, he was gorgeous. And we have married seven years. And you know what he used to call me? My little honey pot. And, and you know what I used to call him? My little bag of spuds. Because, you know, he was round and fat and everything. But you know, this year, nearly on in the year, he wasn't shown any great signs of tenderness and care for me. And you know what I said? Do you know what? I'll pretend I'm going to leave him and I'll see what he does. So I wrote this big, a big a note, big writing on the table. We'd see it when he'd come in from work. I'm tired of you, I'm sick of you, I'm leaving you. That's all I said. Nothing else. And I went into the press and I hid to see what his reaction would be. Anyway, he arrived in. Now he's kind of slow, he was in the special class at school. And, and it took him a good while to read it. And then he got a bio. And again, he was slow writing because, again, you're not the special class. He only had just a bit of a slow writing and he wrote for a while. But then his tune changed. And he went, Yahoo! To see like that, you know, a bit of a clear show. He said, I was spruce myself up, he says. And up he went anyway, and he came down with the hair all gelled and a good jacket on him that he'd only wear on a Sunday and a pair of trousers that I bought him myself beautiful pair of trousers and it's all on and he picked up the phone and he died down the snow and he says hi honey he says honey imagine honey he says you won't believe it the old hag has left and the tears well in my eyes many years have passed and gone since the good times we had there in the sweet